Lunaris is back, and I'm excited. The reason why is because of ranked mode. We're just gonna do normal ranked. You're gonna try for the best time possible, and here's why I'm excited, because the times are absolutely ridiculous. Look at the top times, guys. 36.9 seconds. And yes, I should mention, those are legit times. It is completely possible. If you've already seen the Lich like, speedrun runs, you'll know why. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Also, I should mention, no, this is not me. In case you don't know in this game, uh, the usernames are not unique. So anybody can name themselves Icehab and then farm 13,000 followers just by using my name. Even though this is not my account. Uh, Hero, we're gonna pick Ben, obviously. And we are going to farm. So yeah, you know the drill. We're gonna do uh, Marketplace into Flavored. However, we're actually not gonna do Perma Spike because I'm pretty sure you can first strike it and it's cheaper than uh, Perma Spike. And also, it doesn't stop at each skull because it's not Lich where it was invulnerable. So I think, yeah, we'll do that instead of Perma Spike. And so that'll save me even more money. Uh, so early game. Do you think it's gonna be a sub? I think a sub dart would be good. Look at this spot. Absolutely beautiful. And then we'll go for farms right after. So there's my first farm. You might be wondering why I am putting a farm in the house and why I'm not putting it in open land. That's because I'm going for uh, as many farms under a flavor trait as possible. Might not be necessary because I don't have to sell all the farms because it's only, again, two first strikes is way cheaper than a perma spike. But regardless, I'm gonna put as many under a boat as possible. So yeah, with Ben farming, it makes things so much easier than other weeks. You can see right now, normally, like, you don't have six farms and then around 25. Yeah, we're gonna get our sixth marketplace, uh, round 34, that's pretty good. Pretty good, guys. Also, the better thing with first strikes over Perma Spike is that you only need it starting round 39, cause you, you only gotta wait for the cooldown, you don't have to build spikes up. So, in fact, even tier two, it's probably gonna be first strike spam, cause you only need eight of them to beat tier two, two of them to beat tier one. So yeah, I need twenty six thousand dollars for two first strikes. Should sell like half of these marketplaces and afford it. Here's thirty nine. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Let's milk some money from these marketplaces first. I would say now is good. Sell, sell, sell. I need to sell one more. All right, four of them. That's not bad. Plenty of time left over. Ah, uh, too late, right? This is too slow. Wait. Oh my god, it's too slow. Ability? No, no, I got it in time. Now, the only problem is that I gotta beat these balloons here. GG, that was about 6 seconds. I think that's the fastest you can do. I think that was still perfect because I was spamming the ability when I was up and it didn't activate. So, I'm lucky. I think I got it in time. Now, quickly, what do I want to do against all these green balloons? And ceramics, holy crap. Alright, so let's first sell these two, see how much money we have. We have 30k to work with, 30k. Okay, I'm gonna try being greedy. Trade Empire. And uh, a Recursive. Watch out. I don't know why I put this out of range of the... Uh... Oh, it's actually not enough, holy crap. Let's reset. Okay, we have the, uh, another opportunity to watch again, like watch. I spam the button. It doesn't activate till like half a second later, so I think it's fine. So there's this, Trade Empire, Trade Empire, it is uh, not enough, alright, double first strike, insta kill, bam bam bam, okay, and we're gonna Ice Tower, separate the pack sounds like a very smart idea, so just one Ice Tower is that all, let's go for a Trade Empire 2, plus Merchants, let's see, uh Um do I take that? If I if I live, then I'll take that. Let's see. Nice! We did it. So yes, you might notice I got a train empire. The reason why is because it's actually better than going for what I did for um tier two, tier one and two, like spam four two zeros. As long as you get enough merchantmen up. And because I can sell towers, like I'm gonna sell these right now. To greed even more. These things will make mad cash when I get 20 of them. And even though I only have 3 of them right now, which is very inefficient, it can build up very fast. Yeah, we'll sell the farm too, over here. Lost a bit of money, but it's okay. 
Not to mention, guys, these things do good damage because Create Empire increases the damage of Merchant Men. So I may not even need to get defense. Which is, make, makes this even better. Plus 420, nice. For each Merchant Men. See how the snowball effect happens? I'm getting, like, enough for 2 or 3 Merchant Men per round now. In, like, literally 3 rounds, I'm pretty much capped at 20 Merchant Men. After we go for 20 Merchant Men, I'm not gonna upgrade to Flavor. I'm gonna go for some Central Markets. I think that's probably the right play. Because again, flat damage is added, not multiplicative, so flavored it's still very inefficient to buy. Okay, I think at some point it's worth getting flavored. Yeah, after this we get 50% more money. So I think that would make this worth it to get. And yeah, look at this. Flavor Traits Army, it's actually holding its own. Like, no, none of these are upgrades to Grape Shot. So that's the crazier thing. This is just the darts. The dart army popping at 55 here. So there we go. 20 flavor trades, 5 central markets, and a trade empire. And I think we stop, we stop farming, okay? That's enough. Let's get our 8 first strike set up. And indeed, I don't have to sell any. I can just put 5 up here, 3 in the other spots, and we'll have enough. Okay, I actually need to sell a lot more than I think. Okay, so I need 6 more. 13 times 6, quick math, that is $78,000. So that would just mean selling like three of these, right? One, two, three. Nope. The round ended. I'm, I'm so greedy though, so I'm doing milk. Two ticks, two ticks. There we go. Alright, we should have it this time. But I think we'll just do like two recursives if we can. And you see the ability's up, so we just spam three. Once it comes in. So spam. In fact, to spam faster, I'll double click. Hotkey and, and thing. So, tier 2, that was very fast. I think that's as fast as you can go. In fact, I think I only need one, because... No, I'll get two, that's actually a lot of balloons. Two? Nice, alright. So the game is paused, so I can use this time to drop 10 O24s. I can fit all 10 O24s on this side. So that's actually really nice. Like, very satisfying. You have all the boat income in the middle, all the bottom path farm income on the right side, and then the monkey opolis plus central will be on the left side. I think with this, we'll have enough money to afford anything we want. Right, I should also do a, I guess, a monkey town. 50% extra income for all things in range. Also, for those wondering, I'm going to put my monkey opolis over here. It may not be the best spot for farms, or for the max amount of monkey opolises. I know you get like more than like 7-8. But, I think it's enough for what we're trying to do here. Alright guys, we pretty much won at this point. What is this farming? I think this is the most amount of farms I had on round 70. In, than like any other boss. This has to be, right? Yeah, this has to be a record for, for at least for me. I think for tier 3, it's gonna be, yes, spam the entire map with first strikes. In fact, I'll sell the boats for it too, to kill even faster. But on top of that, I need to, uh... I need to get a perma spike as well. If I do a mix of Perma Spike and, uh, you know, First Strikes, that'll get the quickest kill. You can get Ultra Boost now, I know, right? You know what? Let me do that. Because I can Ultra Boost the, uh, farm to make even more money. So let me do that while I have the chance to, and then I will 10 stack the, uh, Perma Spike. Even better is that Lich doesn't steal buffs, or Boolinus doesn't steal buffs, so unlike Lich, I can just keep the Overclock or the Ultra Boost the entire time. Alright, that is 8 subs at this pond. Pretty good. So now we homeland, because we're 3 rounds out, that means we need as many spikes as possible. Also, Blue Nears Tier 3 has 30... 300,000 HP, so that's either 31st strikes, or, well, a mix of that and Perma Spikes. Oh, sorry, is it 350? Sorry, 350. So now that we have the game paused, let me make room. I probably don't need 35, because by the time I activate my 35th first strike, this thing will probably have done a good amount of damage, so let's say like 30. Alright, it's coming. The round's ending. Get ready. Get ready. So let me get this. I know I didn't get Glue Storm, but no one really cares. Alright, so spam. Nah, how's that for an skill? I didn't even use uh, all of them, I used half of them. 16 out of 30. Now that we did that, um, should we get defense for the pinks? I think we should. Yeah, let's get like a... 
a bomb or two just in case. No, I don't have to. First strike spam is pretty good. Now, uh, I should get working my Vengeful Sun God and get back my Trade Empire Army. Alright, so we got the Boat Army back. Now it's time to build a Super Monkey, but for now I'm gonna let it round play just so I don't have to... In case I mess up, I don't have to buy these back all over again. We'll build defense one round at a time. BMA also to make things faster. Actually, how about a Dark Paragon too? I might as well get an extra Paragon at the end. So why not farm Pops while I'm at it? Now all we need is a small loan of half a million dollars. And we will have a Vengeful. Around 90 Vengeful, I think, at this pace. Alright, I got half a million. Let's just blow it all right now. Yep, we're good. So again, if it's right, you will see an animation. If not, boohoo. Nice. The round 87 Vengeful. Alright, while I'm at it, because uh, Tier 5... For Tier 5, I know I'm gonna go Deadly Spike. So what I should do in advance is I should just give every Deadly Spike 10 Ultra Boost Snacks. Because I can. In case you don't remember, when I used Deadly Spike Spam, a max boosted one got up to 100k damage, which is, well, pretty good. So ladies and gents, that is 31 first strikes I have in the field. How much HP does uh, Lunaris Tier 4 have? Uh, 750k, alright. So 31 first strikes will do 31 out of 75 of the HP, and then hopefully this will quickly do the rest. I think we're ready at this point, so 3, 2, 1, let her rip. Additionally, I'm gonna do a gamer move. It's called uh, juggling the called arms ability so that I have full uptime on the homeland ability, if that makes any sense. So basically what I'll do, I'll sell that for this, I'll buy another called arms, and I'll use this one. And I'll keep on overclocking the perma spike. Last homeland, and let's get ready to spam the F out of everything. Glue storm. Who's ready? Alright, spam. How quickly does this kill? Oh my god, that was fast. I didn't even use... Again. I didn't even use half of them. What the hell? So that was perfect. That had to be have been a perfect uh, tier 4 kill. I don't know how I can go any faster than that. Do I get back my train empire army? I think I do, right? Just in case. No, no, I got 1.4 million. I don't think I need much else, really, guys. Get some Paragons. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get uh, a Darn and Ninja for sure. Because what else am I going to do with uh, 1.5 million? Again, the only thing I can do right now to increase my power is get more Ultra Boost Snacks on the Deadly Spikes. Let's just go for Dark Paragon now. If it's 40, I take it. Let's go. 2 million. And what was it? I couldn't see. Nice. Why do I always get exactly 40? I can't tell if it's just me. But this is good. Now let's get working on a Ninja. Let's get a couple more Overclocks. Right. I, f I sh forgot to mention... You do need to overclock for every Deadly Spike, if you want to maximize your uh, DPS on them. That was the thing I did, in a Lich Week. And it's certainly uh, worth doing. Oh yeah, don't forget, um, because I can use buffs, other towers, other Ultra Booster Towers would be pretty good. So like, stuff like a Sentry Champion, I would say, has a decent chance of being useful. Especially with Ultra Buff, so let me go for a 5 user right now. Okay, I have enough, I think, to make a Ninja Paragon. It's gonna be degree 30-something, if I have to guess. Exactly 30. Exactly. I'll take it. Now I've got a million dollars to do god knows what. Spike Storm, you think? First off, yes, we should go for stuff that we know does a crap ton of damage, like a Mad. I don't think Boomerang Paragon's worth it, even degree 1. Uh, screw it. I don't really care about it. Unfortunately. Alright, 117, so this is gonna be my last... One last go through. The rest... I'm not backing out of the game starting 117, because apparently if you back out of the game, uh, you lose the spikes. Okay, here's a problem, actually. I don't think I budgeted enough overclocks for my Deadly Spike. Yeah, I have 12 Deadly Spikes, and only 9 overclocks, so we have a problem, officer. Hell, I'll sell the Monkey Office. Alright, we're done. We sold everything. 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 1.5 million dollars. Actually, before I, before I stop here, I'm gonna go for a Support Temple. Uh, support Temple. I'm gonna add another army of, uh, Spike Storms around here to also do damage. Because I, I would like a support buff as well. I think that's about as much as I want to get here. Everything else at this point will not add much. So, uh, first off, move the Perm Brew, I think. Three, two, one. We want a Homeland first. Homeland, Homeland, Homeland. 
Moopy Brew. Buff this. I want to be ultra boosting the, uh, Perma Spike. Try to overclock some random Deadly Spike too. Homeland. 119's already here, holy crap, that came fast. Alright. My heart's kind of pumping right now, I'm not gonna lie. And I think we're about to good, good to go. It's so laggy right now, you have no idea. Y'all have no idea. We'll get Goosestorm right now too, why not? 10 FPS, man. I'm gonna Homeland, uh, how about now? Homeland now, alright, first strike spam. Quickly. I'm using the right button. Come on. Oh my god, we're killing this. Am I gonna even use all 10 first strikes? I didn't even use a spike storm, wow. I used all but one, one first strike here. Also, I think it takes time to kill these rainbows too, right? No, it should be fine, we have no spike storms. And what's the hold up? Oh, it's the BFB, or the, the bads. And it's done. So rip rank one, that was not rank one. Uh, how, how was that? Was that 40 seconds? Let's see. Nice. Sub 40. That, I think, is 3 seconds off of the top time, which I think has already been pushed to its maximum. Fun stuff, isn't it? And that puts us in 5th place. Right beside the fake ice app. Yeah, peak BTD gameplay right here, folks. So, sub 1 minute Balloon Aries kill, guys. That's really all I wanted when I wanted Balloon Aries back. I wanted to see how quickly this could be killed, and... Yeah, 40 seconds per is not bad.